Today we're installing Chill Out Radiant Heat in a bathroom. Chill Out is a carbon mat that comes in a roll and is cut on site. All the materials you need will be provided to you including a custom installation plan. This is the plan we've designed for the best coverage of this floor. The tools we needed for this installation are only a few. A stapler, wire cutters, wire strippers, scissors, and an electrical tester. First, roll out the carbon mat to the desired length according to the plan and cut with ordinary scissors. Follow the plan provided by the manufacturer filling the floor with the heating mat. We like to keep the mats no more than four inches apart. They can be as close as you like, but it's very important they do not touch. When on a plywood subfloor, we recommend you use a staple gun to secure the heating element to the floor. If your subfloor is concrete, you can use duct tape to hold the heating element in place before you thin set your tile. Under no circumstances should you use wire lath over an electric floor. It will short out the floor and cause the floor to fail. Locate the bus braid running down each side of the element. It's very important you position the clip directly over the bus braid. Secure the clip using a pair of pliers. Now let's take a moment to look at the plan for this job. Notice the red wire connects one side of the element. The black line connects the opposite side. It's very important not to connect the same side of the heating element to both the red and black wire. Now let's begin our wiring. First, we'll put the clip on the end of the element, centering it over the bus braid. Use your pliers to crimp down tight on the clip. Move to the second element, do the same thing. Center the clip over the bus braid. Use your pliers, make it nice and tight. Now take your wire strippers and strip off the end of the wire Slip it into the clip. I like bending that over the edge so that it doesn't get away from me. Then use your clippers, your crimpers, and crimp that down. Go to the next one, use your wire stripper. Strip off some of the insulation. Slide it right into the clip. Use your pliers to crimp it down, nice and tight. Move to the next one, repeat the procedure. Slide that right in there. Once again, crimp the wire down over top. Move to your last element in this case. Strip the wire, slip it into the clip. Using your pliers once more, crimp it down tight. Now go back and staple down all your wires. You can either staple or use tape to hold it in place. I prefer staples. Make sure you don't put a staple through the wire, uh, centering it and making sure that it is secure. Couple more. Now you go to the other side and repeat the procedure. Put your clips in, strip your wire back, just make sure you're not on the same side as the red wire, you're on the opposing side. And you follow your way back to the transformer. Put the clip on, fold it over, right over the bus braid. Use your crimper, crimp it down tight. Use your wire stripper. Strip the wire back. Slip it into the clip. Use your pliers. Now that we've finished our installation, let's take a look at our plan again. Notice the red line goes up one side, the black line goes up the other. They're both going to connect to the transformer, which in this case is going to be mounted underneath the vanity. Here's our transformer. We take our red line, connect it up, 
using the supplied wire nut, our black line, connect it up. And then we're going to plug our transformer into a 110, 120 outlet using, in this case, an extension cord. Now it's time to test the mats. Using our tester, we turn it to low voltage. We test each side. We go to every mat, test every mat to make sure we get somewhere between 21 and 24 volts. In this case, it's 23.7, just right. If you get a low reading at this point, it may be because you don't have 24 volts coming out of your transformer, which may mean that you don't have 110 volts going into the transformer. These are things to check. But under normal conditions, if all your connections are good, you're going to see your uh, 21 to 24 volts come up. Uh, just as we see on the meter. If you have an abnormally hot clip, for some reason it's almost too hot to the touch, it's always because the clip is not secured tight enough to the element. Take your pliers, tighten it down, it should cool right out. Now that you've successfully tested your system, use the supplied tape to seal the clips. Peel off the aluminum, fold the tape over, Press it down with your fingers nice and tight so no moisture can get in. Do this to each and every one of the connections. You're now done with your chill out radiant heat installation.